Jeremiah, brace it down. Just what? Wow. What? Yeah, you oh. left him. Wow. He's so cool. You know? I'm not a cool guy. We wouldn't do you like this on I'm Actually. I just want to let you know. Uh, <laughs> <I> was, <laughs> We're just three hunks on a couch. Yeah, yeah. Equally famous hunks on yeah, a couch. Yeah, yeah. Look at these hunks. Yeah, wow, it's the hunk episode. Yeah, yeah. It's the hunk so wow. It's a hunk episode. People are calling it the hunk episode, I hear. People are calling it the hunk episode. Yeah. Now it's time for Will You Be My Valentine? Everybody has a valentine. Nikolai, you want to kick us off? Do you have a valentine? Uh, yes. <laughs> I'm going to leave, uh, you know, uh, I'm going to bring my wife. Ooh. Oh, hey, that's smart. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> hey, what's no. one thing you like about her? Oh, I like everything about my wife. She's incredible. Oh. All right. That's good. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Listen, I've been married 25 years. I'm not going to make a joke now. No, yeah. that's... Yeah. That's smart. You're not... Hey, you're not going to go to Buca de Beppo alone on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Andrew, do you have a Valentine? Yes. So I, I, I've been married to my husband for eight years. So that we, we, we were like, we're like a sealed in Valentine. My husband has a full head of hair. Don't be mistaken. Um, but I would like to ask um, a non-conscious entity to be my Valentine this year. And um, this, this thing is not the classiest thing. Um, it is my favorite item on the Costco food court menu. Mm. Uh, I would like to ask the chicken bake to be my valentine. Because here's the thing. I know what you're saying. Andrew, the chicken bake is a 14 inch long glorified hot pocket. Mm. It looks obscene to eat it in public. You can't hold this thing and be like, I, this is a normal thing to eat in public. And I may get it and, and say under the auspices of, I'm gonna split this with my husband, but no chicken bake. I want you all to myself. <laughs> what's inside? Chicken, bacon, a white sauce. I don't know what's in the sauce. I don't care to know. But a TikTok told me that it is 52 grams of protein. <laughs> so the macro game is on point and I can eat it guilt free. Chicken bake. Will you be my Valentine? No. Oh, nice. The only thing I disagreed was with your line read on 14-inch hot pocket. You said it like it was a bad thing. You said, "Oh, <laughs> what is this? A 14-inch hot pocket?" You just say it the other way, and it's awesome. What it's is this? It's a 14-inch hot, hot pocket, and it's it's four dollars. What is the meat? Uh, what is the meat? Is chicken spelled with a Q? Hmm. Here's the thing. Every place has something awesome to get you in the door. There's no rule that says you can't walk out with just that. Which brings me back to the Gelson's chicken. <laughs> Ify, what's your Valentine? Uh, I, I'd say my Valentine. You know, I'm also going to do the save that you did. Built-in Valentine. My partner Emily Louise, great. She's sweet. She's always taking care of me, holding me tight. Uh, you know, I like being the little spoon sometimes. So she's my little backpack. Uh, <laughs> But if I had to go ahead and uh, uh, pick something else, I'd say my Bastion Carthalos, uh, which is a unit from Warhammer, Age of Sigmar. Uh, he has an ability that you can that do. That was mine. Yeah, Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah, he has that ability. We know. We know it's the command ability. We know. Where you can roll the number of dice of wounds that your enemy has, and with the number of sixes is how many mortal wounds they have. Now, see, the thing with mortal wounds is that you don't get to do your armor save. You can only do a ward save if they have a ward. So, you know. Yeah, I know. Now, what's your valentine? Oh, my valentine? Well, obviously... I have to, of course, do what you did and make sure I acknowledge none of these candidates. Uh, <laughs> uh, but my Valentine, uh, I would like to ask the Pillsbury brand raw chocolate chip cookie dough to be my Valentine. And it is for this reason. We all know that the police don't come to your house if you eat the Toll's house cookie dough without baking it. There's no authority. <laughs> Nobody's watching. And we also know that even though on the outside of the packaging, it says 
you shouldn't, right. nothing happens. <laughs> nothing happens. And maybe sometimes something happens, but it's not often enough to stop you. <laughs> and so you buy the yellow one, and you feel like you're rolling the dice, but it just seems like you always win, because you get to have cookie dough. And, there's, and again, you're fine. But see, the people at Pillsbury, they went above and beyond. Because even though they know we're disgusting, and even though they know that we would eat it anyway, they put it right there on the outside of the package, <laughs> eat or bake. The most glorious words you could ever see. And then you turn it over and you read why, and you realize they actually, they actually like went through the trouble to make sure, because they knew, they knew. They said, stop sending us the letters. We don't want any more letters. Just you freaks, just grab it from the fucking fridge at the store, go home, turn on a reality show that rots your head from the inside out and eat this straight from the package. You buy the log, buy the sheets. They're divided into cookies, but that's a formality. <laughs> the, log is, the log is harder to eat, but it feels more honest because it doesn't treat cookie dough like a countable set. The sheet, you can have one, you can have two, you can have three, but the log, you just have some. And I would like to ask that little doughboy to be my Valentine. Yeah. And again, I'm doing great. All right. We, Is this a cult? Or is it a cult? <laughs> the be, he, look. All right. I thought you said you listened on your way here. <laughs> Guys, give it up for our incredible panel tonight. When we come back, we'll get your Valentine. Brian is out in the crowd. If you have, instead of high notes tonight, we would love to hear your Valentines. It can be for a person, it can be for a thing, it can be for an idea. Hi, what's your name, what's your Valentine? Jenny, and this is my Valentine. 31 years, this fella right here. 31 years? Wow. So what, wait, what, thir so 31 years ago, what's that, that's 1992, 1993? 1993? Three, three. Yeah. Well, what a time. The Hillary Care just gone down in flames. Amazing. You held each other close and you thought, Dude. politics can't get worse than this. Yeah. And wow, we were, we were wrong. We were super wrong. Into the mic. Oh, we were super wrong. Yeah. Politics got so much worse. Who else? Oh, she's trying to tell me not to stand up. What's your, what, what's, who's your Valentine? What's my, your Valentine? My Valentine is Jennifer. Jennifer. Uh, the interesting thing about us is that she is a, she's a therapist. Um, <laughs> she doesn't like use a lot of that stuff with me to help me, but like, so like. Uh, we're, okay, by the way, by the way, uh, dude, yeah, she does. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, John, you're right, you're right. Okay, yeah, no, yeah, I'm sure she doesn't use it either. It, it. It's not but like, we, it's not we, sorcery, you don't hear a spell. No. She just has training in it how to work sorcery. with people. It is sorcery, it's yeah. magic. Okay. You know, uh, so like I'm, a, like I'm an MMA referee, I am involved in the fight world, and I'm married to a therapist, but she's huh. taught me so much about what's happening in this room. Oh. And to be open-minded and, and love what you're doing. Oh, thank you for saying that. Oh. Go to the lesbians. <laughs> Hi. Hello, lesbians. Hello. <laughs> I'm sorry to report it's just me. Um, I think. Oh. Listen, I'm not trying to tell people um, how to show up. Um, I want to shout out to the, um, the folks in Florida who are um, working, who have put abortion on the ballot in Florida. Um, almost a million and a half signatures. It's going to be on the ballot, we hope. Um, and you can give to Floridians protecting freedoms. Um, and I also want to shout out my wife, Meredith. Oh, I think that's a great place to leave it. That's good. I think that's a great one. That was a great way to leave it. Um, just so you know, we have some great, a couple, there's ballot, ac there's ballot access measures in Florida, I believe Arizona, and, and Nevada. And Nevada. Um, and we have some, we have the, 
the, the, the most polarizing merch we'll have ever had <laughs> on those topics that I hope people, they'll either sell a lot or none. Uh, and that is our show. Thank you so much to Ippy Wadaway, Andrew Farmer, and Nikolai Koster-Waldau, who is a great sport. 